Thank you. There have been three church break ins in Calhoun County, resulting in hundreds of dollars in stolen goods and cash. News 19's Michael Fuller went out to learn more. It really hurt me. For nearly 35 years, Mount Pisgah AME Church has been a second home to member and chairman of the trustee board, Willie Stewart. We don't have but a few members, and it ain't much that we have on the inside of the church. Well, we have good faith. There have been two other church break-ins in Calhoun County within the past couple of weeks, from Mount Salem Missionary to Mount Sinai AME to Cedar Grove Baptist Church that are all within 10 miles of each other. The thieves made off with nearly $1,500 in stolen goods or money from the churches. So that when like somebody be sick or whatever, if we want to give them something on the sick for being on the sick list or whatnot. That's what we were saving our money for. Uh, to have something like this where multiple churches are involved, it is a rarity. Yeah. Matthew Trenham is the Major of Operations for Calhoun County Sheriff's Office. He says they're still investigating if the three cases are connected and gives a warning to other churches. Make sure your hedges are trimmed back away from the windows and the doors so that you have clear line of sights. Make sure you have exterior lighting, you know, a porch light. And again, locking up and securing any valuable items you just can't let one thing put, take you down. But I have faith in it. I still have, have faith in my church, my pastor, my members, you know, our, our congregation. That was Michael Fuller reporting. So far, no arrests have been made, and investigators are working to see if these break ins are connected. If you know anything that can help police, you're asked to call Crime Stoppers. Their number is 1 888 Crime SC.